Hi, we're here today to talk about suture removals. So I've got to preface this, that anytime you have a surgery or a procedure done at Marshall Animal Clinic that involves skin sutures, it's part of the deal. It's a complimentary appointment to come in and have those removed. But some people have dogs that don't like to come to the clinic or some people live far away. We have clients as far as an hour. So we just want to give you a little tutorial on how to remove sutures yourself. So the most important thing is we don't want to take them out too soon. The window that we tell people is 10 to 14 days and when in doubt, lean more towards 14 days. So I just recently had my own dog spayed and her stitches were really starting to dig in at day 10 and she was licking and itching. So the skin was healed, but the sutures, what the material was actually irritating her. So we snipped them, um, but you don't want to take those out too soon. So there's three different types of stitches that you're probably going to encounter here at the Marshall Animal Clinic. So we're going to do a little knot lesson. This is a simple interrupted. So you see my skin in the knot. When you clip that, you just want to clip it on one spot. We don't want to leave the suture material under. So make sure you clip it above the skin and below the knot on one side. And you should be able to pull it out. The second and the most common one that you're going to see for a routine procedure is called a cruciate. And it's very similar to that simple interrupted, only it's shaped like an X. Same concept. You're just going to cut one spot between the skin and the knot. You do not want to leave anything under the skin. So when you pull it out, you should see a couple squiggles. And the last part, which is the hardest one to take out, and that is a simple interrupted. That's one line of suture with a knot on each end. And you have to be very careful. If you were to cut this in two spots, you could leave a little suture under the skin. We don't do this one very often, but every once in a while there is. So again, you can only cut it in one spot right near the knot and then pull it all the way through, which sometimes feels kind of creepy. So this is Lola. Lola is a rescue um, French bulldog owned by one of our technicians and she was a breeding mama in her previous life. So she's kind of got a, a funky undercarriage here. And she's got some cruciate stitches down low. So we've got three of them. And you see how when I pull on it, we see our knot right there. And then we see two sides. I only want to cut one side. Now, <laughs> I'm using a suture scissors. The best thing to use at home is a toenail scissors or even a toenail trimmer. So one side and pull. And that's what I mean by the curly cue. Second one, I just hold on to the string, cut one side and pull it through for a curly cue. And here is our last one. So it has been exactly 14 days for Lola's procedure. She's got a little kind of crud built up on her incision, that's fine. That's just some dirt and kind of some skin sebum, but I like to pick that with my finger and make sure that the actual incision looks good, and it does. So Lola, you're free to have baths and run and play and do whatever you need to do.